Toronto, Meech and Miles. Season one had some great success. Has that sunk in yet that the show now has a fan base and legacy? Uh, yeah, it has for sure. Definitely. Um, I was more so anticipating the whole time, the reaction and response from the fans. Um, and we got a lot, you know what I'm saying? A lot of reactions and, and statements made after, you know what I'm saying? Seeing the first season and hopefully a lot more after the second one. I agree with Miles. So just to piggyback off what he said, um, I think the fans definitely um, gave us a good reaction and let us know uh, exactly how they feel. But it's a lot of more surprises coming up season two, and we love to surprise the audience. But I feel like they, they never know what's going, going to happen in BMF. We're always full of surprises. Season two is usually when we see a deeper dive into the characters. What's been the most surprising character development this season for your character? Um, this season has been different because I started – I started this journey with my brother and now he's back in and out because he's getting nervous and, you know, um, he wants to pursue school and, and go legit. So now I have to do everything on my own. I have to go find, uh, I have to go expand, help expand our business in different states by myself. I have to go try and recruit different crews and bring us together. So we don't um, beef. Um, I have to do everything alone now. So, it's it's a it's a more hung it's a more hungry meat and, and a more brave meat. I feel like this season, you know, it's gonna give a lot more, a lot more action, a lot more. Yeah, the most interesting about um the uh, most interesting part about my character's uh, character development was the whole part about him trying to differentiate um the two different type of people he was trying to propose to Detective Bryant and um, Meach. Um, just trying to keep his loyalty and brotherhood intact and also, you know, making sure his mother, you know what I'm saying, and his life is taken in order as well at the same time. So uh, it was pretty interesting for me as an actor to to play, to, play those out and put that on camera. Great. Uh, what's been the best thing about being part of the show and this hugely talented ensemble cast? The best thing apart, the best thing about it is I feel like is the opportunity you know, especially since it's my first time, you know, um, it's the beginning of my journey, I feel like. And and it's just been, I'm just so grateful for everything because on set, we're all like a family. We all get to learn from each other. We get to laugh with each other and we get to be serious, you know, and, and, and get to watch our work afterwards. But everybody on set, I feel like we all can learn from, you know, it's everybody has different experience and, I love going to sit every day, just doing what we do. So, the fact that I was exposed to so many different type of people—you know, you got Snoop Dogg, you got Monique, you got Leslie Jones, um, Russell Hornsby, you know, Wood Harris and Steve—you know, so all these, you know, heavy hitters that I never really thought I would have ever had even even have a scene with. You know, so those moments and times where I can just have those talks off camera and you know, go in depth about. Though you know, so their trials and tribulations that they had to go through in their career to get to where they are now, you know, it's 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 a it's a blessing, you know. So I took advantage of that at the time. Great. Okay, last question. Here's hoping for season three. If so, what would you like to see happen to your characters moving forward? Oh, uh, I really just want every season. I want the growth to be seen in, in, in acknowledge and I want our characters just to grow enormously and, and, and so we can surprise the audiences and, and and never, you know, have them expecting, you know, what's coming up next. But I feel like season three, just like how season two is better than season one, season three is going to be better than two. And it's just going to get better each every season because we have more to do, you know, more everything. And we're getting down and deep into the story now. I mean, I feel like as a viewer, um, I want people to understand B. Mickey as a human being and rather not as him and, and not, rather not define him by his actions. Um, and that's a, that's one of the big, um, you know what I'm saying, goals that I'm going by this next season. You know, he, he has that spiritual side. He has a mother. He has a family. You know, he has motives on why he's doing the things that he's doing. Um so yeah, just to, for people to just to get a better outlook on him, you know, as he can he can elevate, you know, and, and come out of his cocoon a little bit more. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys! 
Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Yeah.